You did it again on the weekend. Good God, does it ever get any easier? <laughs> uh, no, 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 definitely not the distances themselves that, you know, it's sort of mind-boggling. So, uh, yep, always a lot of pain out there. How many more do you have in you? Is there a limit to how many, you know, the human body can actually tolerate during these kind of races? Uh, no, no, I think, you know, I mean, God, there's people out there, um, you know, in the late 80s that are, that are racing Ironmans and that and um, finishing them. So, uh, yeah, but uh, I definitely won't be doing it until that age, that's for sure. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll uh, cut it uh cut it short over the next few years that's yeah i think so you couldn't live without the the training and the exercise and getting up and having that kind of motivation though i mean what does it mean to you as a person doing that every day yeah oh, it's something i enjoy you know it's uh, it's been pretty tough this year with it's you know over the 25 years i've been doing ironmans it would have to be the hardest summer to, to train for the I mean, well, pretty much was no summer so uh, it was uh, very very challenging and uh, there was many times that uh you just had to, you know, cancel your bike ride because, uh, you know, it was either too windy or just uh, pissing down with rain. So, um, yeah, it's been a, been a tough summer to train for for this one, that's for sure. Cameron, at this stage, you know, when you look back after that 25 years, are there what ones really stick out? Is there one or two of them that you just think, wow, that's me, I, I that that's what I really identify with? Yeah, well, I think definitely my first win uh, in 2001, you know, that was a... A dream come true, you know. I'd watch the race as a, a yeah, 15, 16 year old when you know I was at school when the race was up in Auckland, and and um, you know, sort of dreamed about uh, doing it and, and and trying to win it, and uh, yeah, to to have that moment come you know come through was uh, pretty pretty special. And then yeah, probably winning as a 2016 the last one as a, a nearly 44 year old. Um, being, I think, you know, the oldest uh, person to win an Ironman. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that was very special, special too. I didn't think I'd be, you know, sort of winning at that that age. That's for sure. The competitive fire still burns, though, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yep, yep. No, still. No, you know, I just love. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful sunny day in Auckland now, and uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm already uh, sort of chomping at the bit to to get out back out on the bike, but I'm just taking a few easy days but yeah I, I love love trail running love love my training love getting out on the bike and um uh, probably probably the swimming is the, the, the one of the boring ones but uh, you don't sort of you know it's uh, I should be getting in there and probably tomorrow to for some active recovery but I'll probably take a few more days off and then uh, let the body really uh, relax and then and then get back into it I've got some uh, some goals in the next uh, couple of months I, I want to knock off so that'll be uh, my next uh, challenge Cameron Brum with this. Come on, what are those goals, man? I mean, you've already overachieved and overachieved, and then you've achieved on top of the overachieved. What more have you got to do? Yeah, uh, there's well, there, there was part of the original five Ironmans in the world back in the, the late 80s. New Zealand was one of them. Ironman Australia, Ironman Canada, uh, Ironman Japan, and Ironman uh, Europe up in uh, Germany. So I've, uh, I've done uh, New Zealand uh, you know, 25 times, so uh, I haven't done Ironman Australia, so that's in May, uh, May the 7th, so... And then Ironman Canada um, on August 27th. So uh, those are the next two goals. And sadly, uh, uh, I've done Germany many, many times, but sadly um, Ironman Japan doesn't exist anymore. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and knock off those two uh, in the in the coming months. Would you recommend it to your own kin in terms of them making a decision, Dad? What am I going to do in terms of sport? Is this is this where you'd gear them, or you think, no, no, look, it's just it takes too much of a toll on you. Your whole life is dedicated to it. The body might suffer and later, you, all of that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, it depends what you want to do. You know, if you if you want to do it as a profession like I've done, then yeah, it absolutely, it is. You know, a forty hour week every week. Um, but if you're just doing, uh, you know, for, for fun, and my son wants to. Um, eventually uh, do it, and he, he may do it next year. So uh, he's in the army, so he's got uh, plenty, of, plenty of downtime and uh, allowance to train. So, um, but yeah, it, it is. You know, when, when you're doing it as a professional, it's um, and trying to put in the hours to to be, you know, at the top of your game. Then, man, yep, you do have to um, sacrifice a lot and put a put a lot of time into in, to get into that uh, top of the podium. Has there ever been times, Cameron, where you've just thought, "God, it's just all too bloody hard. I can't be bothered with this." Because I, I mean, that I mean, I'm asking that question, and as I'm asking, I'm thinking, "No, that would never have occurred to you, has it?" Oh yeah, oh, many, many times. Yeah, no, probably, <coughs> probably retired ten times uh, during the race uh, on the weekend. But uh, over, yeah, over my career, you know, yeah, 
I've, uh, I've had you know quite a few injuries over the last sort of five years, and it, you know that takes its toll mentally to try and try and get back on top of things. And um, yeah, it's very very challenging when your your body starts breaking down. But um, yeah, there's many, been many times I thought, oh, yep, I'm going to have to get a real job. But uh, lucky I've uh, stayed away from <laughs> that so far. But yeah, but. Uh, I've, uh, you know, I've been helping uh, with a lot of coaching in the last couple of years and really enjoying that uh, sort of uh, side of the sport. And you said, look, it's a tough day on the weekend when you're 50 trying to keep up with the young fellas. I mean, that must burn, you know, the fact that, look, I'm just not young enough to be able to do what you're doing, but I've got it in me and I know I have. How do, how do, you, how do you twist your mind all around that while, you, while you're racing? Yeah, it's hard. You know, you, you, you do start to, you know, slow down and... and uh, the, uh, you know, you're not not producing the time that you used to. Um, yeah, you can still go all right. I mean, I still got seventh place in the professional field, so um, and beat a few youngies. But um, yeah, that's just yeah, not the the time that you were used to, and you just don't recover like you used to as well. So you've that's a mental challenge as well to try and say right, okay, yep, I know I'm slowing down, so just enjoy the moment, and and uh, that's you know those those are the goals now to, to try and push myself to um, to reach some pretty cool uh, 50-year-old goals and try to be the fastest 50-year-old out there. Whereas, you know, before it was trying to win the damn thing, now it's, um, OK, take a backward step and just try and focus on getting the best out of what I can at, at this age. Uh, fantastic comments from your son who said, you know, it still it creates joy for your family. That must be really special, reading and hearing stuff like that. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, both boys are growing up with triathlon and, and travelled the world um, seeing, seeing the race. So it's um, been to uh, Hawaii, uh, the Big Island, many, many times. And, uh, yeah, they'll be hoping to get back uh, at some point uh, in the near future. So, yeah, it's been a great uh, lifestyle for our family. And, um, you yeah, know, we've, uh, we've, all, we've all loved it and, and uh, been brought up with it. So it's uh, been pretty special. All right then. So uh, Hawaii. Why why would you recommend people doing Hawaii? Oh, I don't know if I could recommend it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's the toughest race in the world, that's for sure. And geez, it took uh, I think probably in the end it uh, yeah I, I had uh, too much of it uh, suffering up there. So um, but yeah, it's it's just one of those. It's the World Championships. It's yeah, you know, it's the hardest race in the world because of the heat, humidity, the winds. Uh, just the environment is just so challenging. So yeah, that brings out the best of people and makes people, you know, try and uh, try and race at their at the top of the game. So and if you don't, then you're not going to win. But um, you know, it, uh, it is changing. You know, the, we've had, we're going to have the first world championships that are going to be split between Nice, France, and uh, for the men, and then the women will be racing. Hawaii in October, so it's a sad sort of day for the sport when it's uh, being split. But um, you know, there's, uh, they're wanting too many athletes on the on the start line, so it's uh, challenging to to try and um, the island of Kona. You know, they can't can't cope with too many athletes, so they wanted a last year they had a two day event which just didn't work, and so now they're uh, splitting the race. So it's, yeah, it's sad in a way because there's been 40 you know something years of. Uh, men and women competing on the same day in Hawaii. So, um, yeah, the future will be be interesting to see what happens in the next few years. Well, as you said, you know, to get a top 10 at nearly 51 after 25 years, it's just incredible, mate. Uh, you know, do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you look back and is there anything that you wish you had done and want to do or you look back with much satisfaction and you think, yeah, I've ticked all my boxes? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's why I'm doing these bucket list races. I, I went to Europe for three months last year and uh, ticked off a whole lot of um, classic races, um, Outdoors Triathlon and Ember and uh, Ironman, which is probably the, the hardest Ironman in the world. And uh, as I said, yeah, I've got uh, a couple more to do. And and then, uh, then, yeah, and then I'm looking forward to, you know, doing uh, just some epic training sessions. You know, we go and do the Kepler and the, the root burn, burn and then, uh, you know, uh, gravel riding. I love gravel riding as well. We've got some incredible places in New Zealand where you can do that so uh, I'll be doing more of that and just having a little bit more fun with my training rather than being uh, 100% serious and just so on that I just want to go back finally to that thing about the swimming which you said is boring I'm so glad there's a bit of it that you find boring mate because <laughs> <laughs> that's the human side of it that's what I love more than anything but you put yourself through it regardless don't you 
yeah, yeah, I mean, and that's where, you know, it's uh, just looking at a black line for five kilometres ain't that much fun, but uh, when you're in a group environment um, with squads and all that, then it, it does uh, does help. And, uh, um, you yeah, know, but, you yeah, know, that's where you mix it up and you go for ocean swims, go for, you know, surf swims and, and just enjoy it. And uh, that's what you've got to try and do with any sport is uh, if you don't enjoy it, then uh, you're not going to stay long in it. So you've got to have a... a, a so triathlons an individual sport. You need uh, need a team atmosphere and and uh, training partners to to get you through a lot of things sometimes. And I've been lucky enough to have some great training partners over the years. So if I didn't have them, then I wouldn't have been uh, in the sport for that long. That's for sure. Again, congratulations. We've spoken before, mate. I just got so much admiration, and I know that you get this from a lot of people, and I hope you absorb it too. And I hope that you know there's a time where you sit down and and you know and actually you you know. I don't know if appreciates the right word, Cameron, but realise that so many people admire you so much and admire what you've done, and you can, you're such an inspiration, mate. I, I, you know, I, I don't know if I've got the right words to say, but I look at you and I just think, wow. Yeah, I oh know. Thanks, thanks very much, Martin. Yeah, I, I mean, I just just doing what I love to do, and and um, I think that's why I've you know been in the sport for so long, it's, and uh, it's uh, longevity, but it's uh, it's also just yeah, just a love and passion for you know the sport you do. And, I think uh, that's, that's uh, the greatest thing I'll take away from it is um, what it's you know, helped me with, and, and uh, I'll continue to try and try and do over the next few years.